You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. The options market can be a confusing place, sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day, we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is Monday, March 25th. 2019. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today is from Investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Monday. First thing to know is U.S. Treasury yield curve turns positive after inverting on Friday for the first time in more than a decade. The spread between the yield on the three-month Treasury bill and the 10-year note turned positive. The inverted yield curve is widely considered to be a leading indicator of recession, especially when it stays for an extended period of time. At around 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time, the yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury note inched higher to around 2.46% after going as low as 2.42% on Friday. Meanwhile, the yield on the three-month Treasury note dipped below or dip to 2.45%. Chicago Federal Reserve Bank President Charles Evans said earlier, it was understandable for markets to be nervous when the yield curve flattened, though he was still confident about the U.S. economic outlook. The second thing to know today is pre-open Wall Street was set for a lower open. U.S. stock index futures pointed to a lower open to start the week as growing fears of a U.S. recession dampened appetite for riskier assets. Elsewhere, European stocks edged lower in mid-morning trade, with most sectors and major bourses across the region in negative territory, as investors kept tabs on Brexit developments. Earlier, markets in Asia tumbled, with Japan's Nikkei dropping 3%. Shares in mainland China also fell sharply, with the Shanghai Composite down 2%. The third thing to know today is the Mueller report clears Trump of conspiring with Russia. Special counsel Robert Mueller found no evidence of collusion between President Donald Trump's campaign team and Russia and did not present enough evidence to warrant charging Trump with obstruction of justice, U.S. Attorney General William Barr said on Sunday. Trump quickly hailed the announcement as complete and total exoneration after nearly two years of investigation by Mueller and his team. His opponents in Congress called for the full report to be released rather than just Barr's summary of it. The fourth thing to know today is German IFO rebounds. German business morale improved unexpectedly in March after six consecutive drops, a survey showed, suggesting that Europe's largest economy is likely to pick up in the coming months after it narrowly avoided a recession last year. The Munich-based IFO Economic Institute said its business climate index, based on a monthly survey of companies, edged towards 99.6 this month from 98.5. February's reading had been the lowest level since November 2014. The reading beat economists' expectations for 98.7. 
The improvement was due overwhelmingly to responses from the domestic-focused retail and construction sectors. The manufacturing sector, which is more exposed to trends in global demand, stayed gloomy. The fifth thing to know today is Apple's Showtime event. Gotta know about that. <clears throat> Apple is widely expected to announce a streaming video service and a new subscription at a launch event later Monday. It's showtime is how the iPhone maker billed the affair slated for the Steve Jobs Theater at its Cupertino, California headquarters at 1 p.m. Eastern. According to reports, Apple will offer subscriptions to channels such as HBO, Showtime, and Stars for $9.99 a month each. Reports have also indicated that the company plans to sell an updated Apple News offering which would aggregate news and magazine subscriptions into one product for $9.99 a month. Bolstering services revenue is a big part of Apple's strategy for future growth, given that revenue from sales of its iPhone is plateauing. Our next story today is from MarketWatch.com. Mueller report finds no evidence of collusion, though it leaves obstruction question unanswered. Justice, the Justice Department declared Sunday that Special Counsel Robert Mueller's long investigation did not find evidence that President Donald Trump's campaign conspired or coordinated with Russia to influence the 2016 presidential election, setting off celebrations of vindication by Trump and his supporters. Mueller also investigated whether Trump obstructed justice but did not come to a definitive answer. In a four-page letter to Congress, Attorney General William Barr quoted Mueller's report as stating it does not exonerate the president on obstruction. Instead, Barr said it sets out evidence on both sides of the question. Trump in Florida said the report proved there was no collusion, as he has contended for many months. He also claimed it showed there was no obstruction and said it was a shame that he and the nation had to suffer through an illegal takedown that failed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, Monday, March 25th, 2019, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart, and have a great day. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the Options Insider or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com. 